welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Lilly. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Now let's start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with guilty pleasure? It's like proud pleasure with the ground. I don't know. I mean, it's just such a strange concept to me. Just the idea that there's, you know, we have to feel guilty about about enjoying something. I mean, some stuff, I guess, kind of makes sense. Maybe. Maybe. That's all I can say is some of it might make sense. Like, yeah, I'm into, you know, torturing people. That's, you should maybe feel bad about that. You know, because, like, you can't necessarily help that you get pleasure from that, but you shouldn't actively seek that out. You shouldn't want that. And you should feel bad that that's a thing that happens. Even though it's not really your fault, you probably feel kind of guilty about that, you know. I don't know. Something like that. Or if you're like a judge and you like it when people are guilty. And it's like, I really, I just, it's, uh, makes me so hard whenever I get to sentence somebody as guilty. It's just, ooh, bang that gavel, it just sends sensations up and down my ween. But there's, you know, like, a lot of times people are looking at, like, what a guilty pleasure, like, like movies or shows or songs or video games especially. In fact, uh, uh, if it all goes as planned, I've actually linked in the description um, uh, a little article from hubworldhq.com. A thing about guilty pleasure games, my top five guilty pleasure games. Um, and that's basically the whole reason I'm talking about this. But I think the idea is a little silly because... You know, I think there's definitely two kinds of guilty pleasure. There is the kind of guilty pleasure where uh, you feel bad about it. Like, y you feel guilty that you enjoy something because you feel like you shouldn't, right? You feel like you really shouldn't enjoy this thing. Just, like, all the stuff about it seems wrong to you, yet you still, for some reason, enjoy it. There's definitely that kind of guilty pleasure. And then there's, like, a societal guilty pressure. Pre pressure. There's a societal guilty pleasure where it's like, well, I really like this thing. And you don't even necessarily feel bad that you like it, but you feel like you can't talk about it. You feel guilty in the sense that, like, you're not allowed to like it even though you do and don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. Society will shit on you for, for you know, liking that thing, you know. And especially within video games, that stuff happens for me. But it's like... There's a lot of games that I really like that I think people would call, you know, like a guilty pleasure because it's like, well, gamers don't really like those kinds of games. If you liked a mobile game or something, that would definitely be one where it's like, <coughs> uh, casual, fucking casual over here. Can't believe you like this fucking mobile game. You know, and you're like, you just feel bad. You're like, I, I, look, I, I, really, I know, and like, and whenever you talk about it, you always have to feel like you have to preface it then. You're like, look, look, I know, I know it's a mobile game. I know it's, it's stupid, it's terrible to like a thing. For, for, for only the reason that it is a mobile game, it's so much terrible that I could like it. Because I call myself a gamer. But like, whatever, like, it's, it's, fucking like, if you enjoy it and you don't think there's anything wrong with enjoying it, you know, then it's like, why would you feel guilty about it? Um, and I guess that does, it's a slippery slope, I suppose, because you're like, well, I, you know, I like murdering people. You know, I don't see anything wrong with murdering people, so why should that be a guilty pleasure? It's like, well, you're killing people. It's like hurting people. It's not hurting someone for you to, you know, to, to like, I don't know, like fan service games where you're like, I'm just going to beat off to this. It doesn't hurt anybody. Maybe you if you go too hard, but that's you. You're doing it to yourself. But, you know, you're just like, uh, if you're like, yeah, I like to, I like to, you know, murder kittens. And it's like, like okay, well, you're killing kittens with that. You should maybe feel kind of bad that you enjoy that. It's not a thing you should enjoy. Um, because it's a harmful thing. You know, and, and so it's just, you got to draw a line somewhere, but you also got to be kind of reasonable about it and realize that some things maybe aren't as terrible as other things. That's a thing that exists. It's a concept 
that is indeed a concept that is true. And, uh, you know, where you draw the lines does depend on who you are and whatever, where you are, all that kinds of shit. But, overall, I think guilty pleasure in itself is a really dumb, a dumb thing that, you know, most of the time when we say something is a guilty pleasure, we're just saying that, you know, people say we shouldn't like it or we feel like we shouldn't like it, but we do. And we shouldn't be ashamed of liking something just because someone else told us not to like it or just because... We have a weird thing for ourselves, a weird set of standards to tell us that we shouldn't like a thing that we do like, that we don't like a thing that we actually do like, you know? I mean, this is, in the, I mean, I bet, I bet for a lot of people that was what it was, was like for, for, for you, maybe still like, but what it was probably like for years where it's like, oh, well, I can't be gay because being gay is considered a bad thing in society, so I guess, you know, like if I, if I, you know, if I get off to gay things, then, uh, or I'm thinking of gay things and I like it, that's a guilty pleasure. You're like, I know I'm not supposed to be gay, but I'm gay. You know, I mean, it could sort of, it could sort of jump into that and tell, like, now it's like, here anyways, it's mostly accepted, generally accepted. I mean, obviously it's not everyone, but, you know, generally. So, you know, now it's just like being, being gay, you're just like, this is just a regular, regular pleasure. This is, uh, with, if you're into the whole gay pride thing, if you're super proud of that, then really that is a proud pleasure. So, wh really, what is the deal with guilty pleasure? It's like proud pleasure with the ground. And once again, check out that link in the description or go to hubworldhq.com to see my top five guilty pleasure games. Those are my top five guilty pleasure games. And, um, you know, think of that what you will. Do with that as you must. Because um, I'm not probably not going to make a video about them. It's just going to be there, probably, so. This is all just a big, a big ad. But it turned out to be a decent episode, so, you know, I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stick with it. I'll leave it up. Um, what other kinds of stuff would you like to see written on Hub World H? Oh, that should be a whole video. I'll do that next. I'll do that next or something. Or maybe not next when this, after this video. We'll see what happens. Whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you. Come back. Come watch. Come say stuff. But fuck you. I'm just kidding. But fuck you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Fuck you. What's the deal with Sam? What's the deal with Sam?